What is up everybody? I'm a Shopify developer from Germany and I'm on the lookout for the best looking designs which are out there in the web. And today I stumbled across this lovely sliding collection section from Hello Visionist right here. As you can see, you got the scrolling corrections going on right there. And if you hover over one, all the other ones get blurred out and they're all linked to different collections of the store. And I'm gonna make it possible for you to recreate something like this because we're gonna build something like that today. I prepared a little something already. And yeah, the app I use for this is called Section Store. It's a component library with over 400 fully exclusive Shopify components. And like I said already, I was using the scrolling collections at the moment. You can get this for a one-time fee of $6.30. So better be fast because that's not gonna be around forever. And yeah, it does come with a lot of customization options. You can change all the images, the collections, everything is super editable. And also the logos you see above is something you can add to your store. So that is definitely a lot of really nice benefits which come with this section. And yeah, instead of paying hundreds of dollars for a developer, I think it just makes sense. Uh, the last thing you have to do is actually head to the My Sections area of the app where you have to do one final thing before you're ready to go and that is to add the section to your theme. In my case it is the Dawn Live theme but it does work on every theme so don't worry about that. Then simply hit on Customize In, open up the theme you've just installed it to and then you're gonna end up in your theme editor. That's the one you saw in the beginning of the video. I'm just gonna show you real quick what I did with this. The first thing I did of course is add the section, scroll all the way down click on add section, type in collection slider or actually scrolling collection, that's the one. And then we have this one, I already added a little bit of content. There are two different ways you can actually add pictures to this whole thing. So if you go and scrolling collections and just pick all the collections you wanna see in there, it's automatically getting added. And the first picture of the collection will be the one which is getting displayed. So this is how this works and here you can change all the fundamental things of the section. So where the whole text is going to be aligned, how fast it's actually going. So if we wanna make it a bit slower, that is also possible, all the gaps, the roundness, what image ratio, and yeah, you name it, etc., etc. But we wanna focus on how you can add the images today. And I did it with this, we have those blocks right here. And if you click on one, you can see on the top, you can always decide which image is getting displayed. And if you want to, for example, you use some different vendors of different brands. You can just ask them if you can use their logo and then just go here. For example, if we're gonna use Nike as a vendor and we sell products from them and we wanna link people to our Nike collection, we could just pick it right here. And here we see the Nike logo, it looks super nice. Here we're gonna change the text to Nike. And in the best case, of course, you wanna have a collection which is only displaying Nike products. In our case, it's just gonna be shoes now. So I'm gonna save this up real quick and we're gonna test the functionality of the section itself. And to do that, we're just gonna let it load up and have a look at it in the live version. That is hopefully working. We're pretty much at the end of the video already. As you can see right here, we got the fully operational section. If we hover over it, we also get this really nice blur effect. And if I click on it, it's directly linking us to the shoe collectioner, which is not Nike in this case, but I think you get the idea. And yeah, hope you guys found it useful. I hope you find a useful and creative way how you can use the section. And if you like the video, also feel free to leave a like and follow. And with that being said, have a good one and peace out.